Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. So now we've experimented with adding in grass and trees and so far it actually looks pretty good. You know we have a grassland, we have a trees. This kind of looks more like a, a, a city park than anything than an actual wilderness. There would be a lot more work that you need to do to make that work here but nevertheless let's go ahead and let's experiment with adding in more than one foliage type again. So what I'm gonna, going to do is we're going to go and add in another landscape here. And um, well, what we can do is we already have uh, this one landscape here. And we're going to type in new. Okay. And I'm not sure where is it putting it? Okay, it's putting it all the way over there. Can I move this here? I can. That's amazing. So let's just go ahead and let's move it all the way over here. And we have one and one. And if you really want to, you can actually put the grass material up here first. So I'm just going to use the M ground grass. And we're going to go ahead and push create. And so look at this. We turn our, our uh, selves around. <laughs> and you now have this other landscape here. Okay. So not bad. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go into our sculpt. We'll add some noise in there. And then we'll just simply make this again. We'll just do the same kind of thing again. Nothing too complicated. Um, and uh, the strength, I'm actually going to make even a uh, little less here. And there you go. Remember, subtlety is actually really, really good, right? So let's see. I think that's probably pretty good. Uh, you wouldn't do this in a game. You would actually make a bigger landscape here. But this is just for tutorial purposes. So please keep that in mind. Let's go to the select here. And then let's actually just lap this ever so slightly and maybe move it down just a bit okay so there we go we now have another uh another type of uh of, of grass here okay so let's hop back into our content explorer and let's go to our mega scans metal pack here and what we're going to do is we're just going to move this up here and we go back into modes into foliage and what we're going to do is we're going to add in a few things okay so we're going to add in the tall grass Okay, and we're going to just add in all. So there's lots of different types of tall grass here. So we're going to add in pretty much a lot of these here. The level uh, zero detail here. All right, so we did that one. And then VAR3, there we go. And, you know, there's so many in this here that you, you start to see, and I'm just adding in the zero level of detail. And that's what LOD stands for, by the way. So I'm just gonna add in all of these here. And then um, I, I really like the tall grass, uh, by the way. You'll, you'll start to see why. But nevertheless, we should add in some of our other grass here as a base. Actually, we already added that in there. So let's add in um, another, very, another one here so that we can kind of see that here. So now that we have that grass, uh, we'll add in some more types of grass. Uh, grass four. Let's add in that here. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then we can add in a lot of uh, things. We got the tall grass. Uh, let's add in some clovers. So we'll add that in here. And I, I know this seems like it's taking a long time, but we'll add in some dandelions too, because we'll, you know they're they're a nice little flower. And then uh, let's see what these weeds look like. Yeah, we might as well add in some weeds here. Okay, too. So as you can see, we now have all of these here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select everything here. And let's see, start here, select everything, and then deselect the trees and this other grass. Okay, so if we if we do this here and we just kind of take a look, um, and I'll just undo that here. And for some reason, um, yeah, let's undo all of this here. Yeah, okay, so there we go. So if we kind of look at this, we take a play here. You can see that it's this looks more like um like an actual meadow. Okay, but let's do a couple things first. Actually, let's go back into the select here. Uh, where is our player? Move this 
character back maybe around here so that we don't have to um, yeah, we don't have to do anything uh, here and uh, let's go ahead and push play yeah okay that's probably pretty good maybe move them slightly onto that there okay so so basically we want to uh, go back into the foliage here and if we click on like one of these here like for example if we want more of one type of grass like we have the tall grass here we can actually do that we can maybe say let's make that 400 and you know we have another tall grass so let's say we want more tall grass you can simply just add in the density to these tall grass grasses here and if you like one particular tall grass over a number you can maybe make it 500 and you know if you look at this here you'll start to see that you know you'll you'll see that there is more tall grass in there okay so that looks pretty good you know we uh, we also have some grass here I'm gonna up that quite a bit um, to maybe about 500 and then you know you, you do have to do these almost manually so uh, what is this the dandelions you know you can make if we want to have like a lot of dandelions you know you can add that in here and then you start to see that this looks way more like an actual grassland all right and if you've ever been to a grassland I highly recommend that you, uh, you, should, you should I mean it depends where you live of course I mean uh, if you live in in North America it's pretty pretty easy to do but you know I'm just gonna add in some some grasses here and uh, that should be enough and there you go and that was a bit too much because you can see it's lagging a bit but there you go that is looking pretty good so I'm just gonna undo that here and um, looks like I can undo everything but you can see that you know it starts to look pretty good all right and that's how you make your grass look fairly realistic thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video